Before starting any project working with wool fabric, there are quite a few things that you need to bear in mind and I'll be taking you through those few tips that I have for you in this video. Hi, my name is Juliet Uzel and I hope you find this video useful. Let's get started. So first things first, you really have to consider the care instructions for your wool fabric really abide to that and we know that most wool fabric are dry clean only but before you actually create your garments mostly outerwear with your wool fabric it's expected for you to pre-shrink it so to pre-shrink it you need to run it in a low temperature dry cycle with a damp towel and this would provide enough shrinking so that your finished product will still fit but not enough to felt the fibers. Next thing is to use the right needle. The right needle type for wool fabric is um, a ballpoint needle. Ballpoint needles will ensure that your machine doesn't skip any stitches and your machine copes very well with the stitching of your garments using your wool fabric. So now that you're done sewing up using the right needle type, you need to remember to reduce the bulk in those seams because as we know, wool fabric is, you know, it is wool, it's bulky and we want our seams to lay nice and flat um, when they're pressed and um, it's so important to use your scissors, sharp scissors, to grade the seams just to reduce the amount of bulk you have. Um, at every seam. So after the point of sewing using the right needles and reducing the bulk by grading the seams, you then need to give your seams a very good press. As you may already know, wool fabric doesn't cope very well with heat and it's it gets easily scorched um, you, when you have a, a very high temperature iron. So the best thing to do is to reduce the temperature of your iron and use a pressing cloth to protect those seams and protect your fabric as well. So we all know that wool fabric can be quite warm and cozy. However, the texture of wool fabric can, you know, be quite uncomfortable and um, scratchy when, when against our skin. So I do recommend considering lining your project. I mean, lining does help to um, conceal those raw edges and it gives your garments a clean finish. So natural fibers like silk, um, would make really good linings and um, feel they'll feel beautiful against the skin and um, there are less pricier options like satin and rayon which you could actually go for very fun um, patterned fabrics to go on the inside as the lining because you could use that to express yourself and um, have that fun element inside your garments. So now that you have this information at your fingertips, I hope you enjoy your next wool sewing project. So remember, always test a swatch of your fabric just to make sure that your machine settings and your needle type and your thread and everything works out well before you actually start the actual project. And um, oh, last tip for you before you go, don't forget to increase the stitch length of your sewing machine. So if you use a 2.5 setting, just increase it by half a millimeter to three, three uh, millimeters. And with that, I'm going to leave you and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye.